Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love for you to be here. And um, if you love this video, don't forget to like and share this with your friends and comment down below. So for today, today is a very, very, very special day for me because for the first time in history, <laughs> my husband was gonna share to you his own recipe of chili Yay! <laughs> this is his secret recipe but because i forced him no not, not i didn't force him but um i told him that it's time for him to share to you guys um his recipe this is the best i'm telling you this is the best chili ever like legit ever so without further ado let me introduce to you my husband david i'm looking forward to sharing this with you so hey guys so um i've been making this chili for years and um, it's really easy it's quick it probably only takes about 30 minutes to make uh, the ingredients are simple to find and I've actually won several chili competitions or placed second in chili competitions. Nothing major like work chili competitions or church chili competitions. But anyway, everybody seems to enjoy this recipe. So uh, my wife asked me to, so I'm going to share it with you. So I'm going to talk about the ingredients here real quick. Um, real simple. A couple of cans of Rotel. Uh, this is just the original. If you like your chili spicier, you can get the hot. And if you don't like it uh, as spicy as the original, you can get the mild. Um, it, it calls for about 28 to 30 ounces of tomato sauce. So this is two 15 ounce cans, or you can buy the large 28 ounce can. That works fine. I use it either way. I did, they didn't have the 28 ounce cans today, so I got two 30 ounce cans. The extra couple ounces won't hurt it a bit. It requires a pound of ground beef. I like ground sirloin, so that's what I got. A pound of ground sirloin and a pound of sausage. Like I said, if you like it hot, you can buy hot sausage and do hot rotel. Um, I like the maple sausage. It adds a little sweet to the heat. Uh, real simple, uh, this chili kit you can just you can find this in most grocery stores um, there's a few things about this kit inside um, there's a, a flavor packet that has all your seasonings in it uh, sometimes and I don't know because I haven't looked in a while they change the box every now and then so this is what you're gonna put in your chili they also include a packet of Mesa flour um, sorry this is garbage I throw this away um, and then this is the cayenne so if you don't want it really hot then don't put all of this in or don't put any if you don't like cayenne i like to put the whole pack in it's not too spicy it's just spicy enough and then it calls for i'm not going to show you the brand but it calls for one beer so uh, that is the ingredients that we're going to put into this and it's really simple to make basically you brown the ground beef uh, and you brown the sausage you do that first in two separate pans you drain the grease, combine it, and then we're gonna get started over here on the stove. So you need two skillets, a spatula, and of course, you'll need a can opener. And that's it. And I need some assistance. <laughs> I've got the ground beef in the pan and I have the sausage in the pan and so I'm basically just breaking it up so that it'll cook evenly uh, and that's it this is gonna take a little while maybe you know 10 or 12 minutes and both of these should be browned and then we will um, combine them we'll drain the grease on each separately and then we'll combine them together in one pan and then we'll start adding our other ingredients and there's an order to it so I'll explain that whenever we get to that part
so I forgot to mention this is a Texas style chili so Texas style chili doesn't have beans in Texas they say if there's beans in your chili it's soup um, I like beans and chili just fine but I prefer a Texas style chili to one with beans and so that this is what I make uh, the other thing is on the seasoning that I put in here I held up a box I showed it to you this is the box this is Carol Shelby's brand um, usually any of these box kits I've used work because sometimes I can't find this I found one called blue ribbon brown bag chili rest works great so any of these box kits there's another one called uh, two alarm they all basically seem to be similar this is my favorite though the Carol Shelby's is my favorite but all of them work uh, as far as what kind of sausage, again, it works fine with plain, hot, maple, all of that works. Any kind of ground beef, sometimes I can't find ground sirloin, you can use any kind. All of them work equally well. Reese, this ground beef is probably about 90% browned, which is fine because it's still going to cook for a while longer. Um, looks like the sausage is about 90% brown. Basically, I just don't want to see any pink in the sausage anymore, uh, especially with pork. So I'm going to go ahead and drain the grease on the ground beef. The way I like to do it is just use a lid and kind of set it off to the side and I drain most of the grease and that's good I don't try to drain every last drop of the grease it's good to have a little bit in there now I'm gonna do the same with the sausage Okay, and now we're going to combine it together. So the sausage is going to go in the big skillet with the ground beef because this is where we're going to make the rest of our chili. So I'm just combining the ground beef and the sausage together right now. Once you get it combined, the next item is gonna be the flavor packet. This is your chili seasoning. So it's already got salt, pepper, chili powder, all the good stuff, garlic, uh, dried onion, all of that. So sprinkle it around evenly and it'll start to stick to the pan and that's okay. We have a secret weapon for that coming up next that's a lot of seasoning but it's perfect go ahead and get our cayenne pepper I'll leave a little bit out this time, just a tiny bit. We've got some company coming over, so maybe they won't. It's not very, it's not too hot. So we're just gonna go ahead and combine everything together. Try to get everything coated with the seasoning real well. Doesn't have to be perfect, just mostly, you know, mostly covered because the next step is gonna really get all of these flavors to combine. So the trick is the beer. Just pour it all over everything. Good. 
the flavoring in beer actually brings out the flavor of chili. So uh, the alcohol cooks off because of the heat, so it's not gonna have alcohol in it. It's just, uh, you know, something that adds to the flavor and really makes it nice. And you can see now in the skillet that everything is really, really combined. I usually like to let this stand after I put the beer, beer in for a couple of minutes before I add uh, my next ingredient, which is the tomato sauce. It's been simmering for a couple minutes with the beer, so now we're gonna add our tomato sauce. And then we'll just stir and combine that. almost starting to look like finished chili. It's getting real close. The only thing left we have left to do is put the rotel in and we'll do that in a couple minutes. So this has been simmering for a couple more minutes. It's kind of come back to a boil. So we're just gonna add our rotel, juice and all. We're gonna stir that all together. And once it's stirred together, we'll let it simmer with the lid on but the lid will be cracked to let it breathe a little bit for about 10 minutes and then it's ready to serve. Uh, one thing about this chili, if you have leftovers, um, it's even better the next day. It's always that way with chili. I don't know why if you store it in the fridge overnight it's like the flavors come out even more. But it's great this way and we, the way I grew up having chili is with Fritos and uh, sour cream. Uh, and cheese on top. So you can put whatever ingredients you like in chili. Some people like Ritz crackers, some people like tortilla chips, some people don't like any of that. Uh, it works great with all of it. So it's really good. My wife even likes to eat it on top of rice. So. And we're gonna let that sit for 10 minutes and then it's ready to serve. All right guys, so basically the chili's been simmering for 10 minutes and it's done. And I wanted to tell you that I didn't mention uh, everything was cooked on medium heat. And the last 10 minutes after all the ingredients are in there, it is on simmering on low for the last 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Also for our friends in the Philippines, I mentioned Frito chips. If you don't have this brand, any corn chip yes. will do. Yeah, so that's perfect. All right, guys, this, I'm telling you, this is the best chili ever. So try this at your home. I, I'm sure you would love this too. Um, thank you, thank you so much for um, watching this video. If you love this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Um, if you want to see more of my husband's cooking or gardening or even lawn stuff, comment down below because I'm going <laughs> to film him also. <laughs> and yeah thank you so much for supporting us um we love you so much god bless you we'll see you in our next video bye bye Mwah. i like to take some of the corn chips i like to kind of crush them up in the bottom and then I go over here chili on top a little bit of sour cream and then the cheddar cheese and done how was it how was it terrible <laughs> it's not fair for me to say. It's, yeah. my, it's my recipe, but I think it's So how was it, Rob? Good. Very good. good. Very, good yeah. very good. Yay! Very good. Very good. Say subscribe!